and she says, Hi, Jamila. What you doing? What you see? What? What you see? Uh uh. Who are you saying hi to? Who are you saying hi to? Dude, you need to stop that. You freaking me out. Come on. Where are you waving at, Liz? Was she um? Did you get my Oma? She couldn't walk. She was old. She could walk, but she was old. Okay. Mommy, your grandma's here, and she says, "Hi, Jamila." What? Your grandma's here, and she says, "Hi, Jamila." I go for a walk and I look up and I see my neighbors. Kate, get up here. Get away from him. Come on, guys. You okay? So I just moved into this house and I found this little room right here. And every time at night, I keep hearing noises from the closet. <gasps> okay, kitty. I'm here at work by myself. There's no one here. DJ's not here. There's no girls here. There's no guests here. It's just me. I'm opening up. There's no one on the stage. I came over here and was looking at the camera system. There is someone standing on the catwalk. There's... Oh, my... This is what they found from all the footage. This is two weeks ago at about 10 p.m. They say that that's me. I know for a fact that I worked the next morning and I have to wake up at 6 a.m. I know I was in bed. I know I was in bed. The mannerisms, the behaviors, they're just off. I don't know. Like I said, I can't explain this. So, I mean, I'm just gonna leave this here for you. There was, there's another minute or two of it. I'll post it on YouTube. What's that? It's an alien. What is that actually? In the middle of the night, Danny Donahue woke up to a noise that came from his bathroom. Here's what he caught on camera.
Sean Shutt and his friends were camping when, while sleeping inside a tent, they captured this. What is that? Spirits, man. <laughs> oh, we're in the fucking, we're in the woods. I mean, <laughs> dude, I'm not sleeping tonight. It Vivian Ispitia had recently lost her cat from being run over by a car. She was in total shock after seeing her cat lying lifeless on the street. However, this wasn't as shocking as what she saw in the footage from the surveillance camera outside her home, which recorded the incident. Have a look at the footage and see if you notice anything unusual. If Vivian claims that her cat was dead and killed upon impact from being hit by a car, then what was this? While looking over at some footage from the camera in her living room, Tiffany Lala sees something pretty creepy. The child you see in this footage is Tiffany's son but she can't wrap her head around this footage, as she doesn't know why her son looks semi-transparent. Tiffany doesn't know what to make of this. However, many viewers have commented that her son might be astral projecting. Astral projection is the ability to have an out-of-body experience on command. The ability to induce an out-of-body experience allows one's consciousness or soul to travel outside of its physical body and explore the universe. Although very cool, astral projecting could be dangerous. Those who've tried this have encountered unsettling things. From stories of people who've experienced unusual sensations, some of which have made people wake up in a cold sweat, to seeing things that are truly terrifying. It's probably best to do some research on knowing how to safely astral project before trying it out. Whether or not Tiffany captured actual footage of her son astral projecting is up for debate, but we can all agree that the footage alone is pretty creepy. Um, this is the area where we see that figure. It just walks back and forth every day, all day. Now, I've been over there a couple of times um, as I walk up on it. There's just nothing there. Um, yesterday I went, yesterday was Easter, I went over there but two big dogs that were off leash came out and uh, it was time to go. Then we had the storm, so as soon as we're done with our schoolwork, I will record myself going across the street and show you that as you walk over, you no longer see what appears to be a person pacing back and forth for just hours and hours and days. I think today's like day five, so. She's been seeing this figure for the past few days, and it's been doing the same thing each day, walking back and forth for hours on end. Bets and Angel has no idea as to what this person is doing. However, a few days later, 
she decides to head over to the woods to figure out what's going on. As she walks over with her husband, she records this. The spot. I don't see anything. No, I don't either. I mean, it's pretty full. Hello? Is anybody there? I'm so nervous. What was that? I don't know. Do you need help? It sounds as though someone is yelling, run. This may have been directed towards her and her husband as a warning. Had they walked any further, this individual could have harmed them. It isn't clear as to whether or not she called the police. But one thing I'm sure of is that she'll definitely stay away from the spot. The following video was posted by Lovetown, whose dog has been acting very strange. Whenever Lovetown's dog goes near the bathroom, he can't help but stare and sometimes growl at something that isn't there. Luckily, Lovetown was able to capture one of his reactions. In 1991, in Sandy Hook, Connecticut, a young deer hunter was roaming in the woods when, after going further in, he finds what appears to be a doll carved out of wood. The wood dweller, the name given to this doll, was found resting atop a circular pinnacle of rocks. The sight of this doll was so unsettling that it caused the young man to run as fast as he can back to his car. However, on his way there, he stumbles upon a man dressed in black. The young deer hunter was at a loss for words, as the sight of this hooded figure dressed in black from head to toe was really frightening. He then mustered up the courage to ask this mysterious individual for directions that would lead him out of the woods. The hooded figure did not respond, but after a few seconds, the hooded figure points at a direction to which the young hunter starts heading over. He came out of the woods unharmed, but who knows what could have happened had he confronted the hooded individual or stayed in the woods a little longer. In the following video, someone was playing video games when, all of a sudden, there's a faint knock outside their door. But what happens afterwards, after they open the door, is pretty creepy. There's knocking on my door, and I don't know whether I should be scared or not. Okay, 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 hello, 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 oh my god, hello, oh Jesus Christ, oh Jesus, oh, 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 mom had recently moved into a new house. However, she found something pretty creepy while moving in. In the bathroom, there are some ducks that are painted on the wall. Although there's nothing odd about the painting of these ducks, it's what's hiding behind the paint that's creepy. In one of the ducks' eyes, there's a peeping hole that points straight to the toilet. But what's even more creepy is the fact that the person that lived here before his mom was an old lady that lived by herself. As always, what are your thoughts on this? The photo I'm about to show was taken at a playground inside a McDonald's. In this photo, something really creepy was captured. The parents who took the picture wrote, Taken at a McDonald's. We thought our daughter was alone in this playground at the time. The face on the left was not visible at the time I took this. When she was asked who was next to her in the pic, she replied, That's my imaginary friend, Beto. Here's the photo they took.
If that's not nightmare fuel, then I don't know what is. Out of all places, the scariest place to be at would have to be a farm, specifically within the fields. And of course, it's a lot more terrifying to be at during the night. Sharpsky was driving through a field when he came across something pretty terrifying. are those? Why does it look like they have heads? Bro! Bro, yeah, that's, that's actually know. people! Bro! Please just get out of here, dude. Uh. Perhaps this might have been a cult. Who knows? Seeing something like this in the middle of nowhere, late at night, must truly be a terrifying sight. On May 23rd, at around 8.30 p.m., Daniel Robb was resting at home when he heard a downright terrifying, blood-curdling sound outside his apartment. Here's what he caught. There's a sound screaming. Like a, it's like a... It's like a scream. It's so freaking loud, and it's coming from up in the air, like up there. It's been going on now. What is that? I swear I saw like this thing when the lightning was flashing a second ago. What the f Dude, that's coming from like up in the sky outside of my apartment. What up, Nessa? Hold on. That is so loud and so like eerie. It's like a banshee, blood-curdling scream. Ooh. There it is again. What is that? As Daniel stated, the scream seemed to be coming from the sky. Perhaps the screams were coming from far away, making it seem like they were coming from the sky. This is definitely on par with the Astic Death Whistle, as both sound eerily the same. Although both are terrifying to hear, this one takes the cake for sounding like actual screams. Here's some scary found footage that was taken in 1993. Although the quality of the video isn't that good, it is still nonetheless pretty creepy. Olivia Bishop found her father's old camera while cleaning up her home. In this camera, she found some old footage of herself as a child playing with her dad. The video starts off normal, like any other home video. But then, later into the video, something really creepy happens. Take a look at this footage and let me know what you think. Okay, so I think my dad caught a ghost on camera back in 1993, and I want you guys to let me know what you think. And for all those Gen Zs out there, this is a camcorder. We'd set it up, press record, and go about our day. I don't know why, it was just a 90s thing. And just so you guys know, we've had a ghost in every house that we've lived in, so that's why I found this very intriguing. Go ahead and watch that pumpkin in the left-hand corner, and let me know what you think. Aside from the toy moving on its own, the creepiest part about this is when Olivia looked off into the distance as though she saw something that was calling her attention. What's even more creepy about this is the fact that according to Olivia, every house she's lived in has had a ghost or some paranormal activity occur. Hopefully it's not the same ghost that's been haunting her, as that would spell very bad news. An entity that follows you around may not be a ghost but something malicious, something unholy. Hopefully that's not the case. But what would you do if you found some old footage of yourself and saw something similar to what Olivia encountered? Let me know down below. This next video was taken by Natalie, who was home alone when she captured something really spooky on camera. She was calling her dog over, who was peeping its head from a corner. However, 
It wasn't until after she was done recording that she realized that this whole time her dog was actually outside the house. This is what she captured. Lego? Lego? Come here. If Natalie's dog was outside the whole time, then what was this? Only reason I can think of as to why she couldn't see that this wasn't her dog is that she might have been looking at her phone the whole time she was calling him over. On screen, it looks like a dog, but off camera, I'm sure that whatever this is looks different. Regardless, seeing something poke its head around a corner is creepy enough. And to think that this might be a paranormal entity makes this 10 times more creepy. Christian Gallagher was keeping an eye on his child through a baby monitor when he saw something that scared the living daylights out of him. What the f*** is that? That's so weird. There appears to be another baby in this footage as there's a face of a child next to his. However, Christian only has one child. As you can imagine, Christian was baffled by what he was seeing. It sure is pretty creepy. It would probably be best if he sold the crib and bought a new one. Maybe it's the crib that's haunted and not the home. But if they really wanted to get rid of whatever it was that was caught on camera, then selling the home wouldn't be a bad idea. In the following video, Valeria Sophie caught something on camera that many viewers, including herself, can't explain. This footage was taken from the security camera located at the side of her house. What do you think this might be? It kinda looks like some humanoid creature it almost shares the resemblance of those humanoid creatures drawn by Trevor Henderson. Whether humanoid or not, seeing this thing in person must be a terrifying sight. Allie Richardson was looking over at some footage from the security camera outside her home. While looking over at this footage, she notices something pretty odd. Take a look at this video and see if you notice anything weird. It appears as though the person walking across the street is transparent. Could this be a ghost? Or is this something that might have been caused by the camera? What do you think? While doing a live stream, Amber Woodworth caught something on camera that she can't explain. It was only after looking back at her live stream that she noticed something really odd in the background. Here's a screenshot that was taken from one of my lives like two days ago. Um, during the live, so many people kept saying that there were faces in the window behind me, but I honestly thought that people were just trying to scare me until I received this screenshot today. And let me zoom in a little bit for you and you'll see what I'm talking about. I can clearly see a face peeking over the ledge. Um, it honestly looks like a possum wearing a top hat to me. <laughs> so. It helped me not feel so scared, but it's also very creepy at the same time. And then I looked back at the image a little later and realized I was missing a second face. To me, it definitely looks like there's a man standing behind the first thing that I saw. And it looks like they're both listening in to what I'm saying and spying on me. Um, definitely something I cannot unsee. <laughs> Can you see it? It's a little hard to make out the faces that she claims to see. But what do you see? If you look close enough, you can somewhat see the two faces that Amber's talking about. Surely, this place must be haunted. If that's the case, then it would be really cool if Amber did a live stream inside the house. I'm sure many of her viewers would be interested in seeing some more spooky stuff like this. John Vasquez had set up a camera in the middle of the woods. 
he was surprised to see that he caught footage of a deer getting close to the camera. However, this wasn't as surprising as what he caught later on in the footage. What the f is that? That is f***ing creepy. What do you think this might be? The shape of this anomaly is hard to describe, but its movement is pretty fast. What are your thoughts on this? Thanks for watching, and until next time.